Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. It's Al of Bathcap Films. And today we're gonna to talk about something that I've been getting a lot of questions about, like, like a lot, a lot of questions about. Today we're gonna to talk about speed ramping, how I do my speed ramping and how I'm able to make it look really smooth. So before we jump into the computer, I just wanna give a shout out to a guy named Ryan Nangle here on YouTube. You can find him. I'm gonna link his uh, YouTube page down below. So make sure you follow Ryan. Um, I actually got the plugin that I'm gonna use from him. He gives it out for free to anyone. He also makes a lot of Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. So if you wanna learn more stuff about Final Cut Pro, make sure to check out Ryan. So I use Final Cut Pro 10 to edit my videos. So if you're in Final Cut Pro 10, this is for you. So yeah, let's jump into the computer and I'll show you how it's done. So first thing you'll do, drag and drop your clip. We have our clip on the timeline. We're gonna zoom in a little bit. Okay, so here's our clip. So cut it where you want it to start. So command B, to cut. Okay, so this clip I shot in 60 frames per second. And right now we're editing in 24 frames per second timeline. So you want to slow down your clip, Just go automatic speed, and it will slow down to 40%. Okay, so we're gonna decide which part we want to speed up. I think I wanna speed up this part. So I'm gonna drag this all the way to the part where I want the speed run to stop, right here. Press Shift and click B, Shift and B. You're gonna get this little marker right here. And then we're gonna select this clip that we wanna, that we wanna speed up. Speed ramping is a lot of trial and error. So you just wanna test things out, see if it looks good. So for now, we're gonna go with four times speed. See how that looks. Okay, that looks pretty good. So that's four times speed. If you wanna go, just wanna see how it looks if we go with eight times speed. So I'm gonna Command Z to undo. I'm gonna try eight times. Okay, I think that I like that better. So we're gonna go with eight times speed for this part. Play that again. Here, right here, we want to do another speed ramp, so shift B and scroll to the part where you want the speed ramp to end. We want to end right, right here. So, this is quite a long speed ramp, so I'm going to go with another eight times speed for this part. And let's see how that looks. That looks really good. Okay, for the last speed ramp, I think I want it to end. Of course, all this will depend on the music that you have. We're not, we don't have any music right now. So I'm just cutting up different parts to show you guys how it's done. Okay, I wanna speed this part up again. Start right here. Go all the way to when we are under the shade here. This will be a nice transition to the next clip. So I'm going to speed the rest of the clip again eight times and that's what we have. Okay, so here's what we have so far. Okay, so there's another step that I do to make my speed ramps look uh, a lot smoother. So let's zoom in a little bit as you can see. A times speed, A times speed. You can actually manually drag this if you want to speed this up. If you want that to be faster, you can just hold that and drag it back to whatever speed you like. That looks good to you. So experiment again, trial and error with speed ramping. See what looks best and go with that. Okay, so the other stuff that I'm talking about is called motion blur. So motion blur, is a plugin that you can add to your Final Cut Pro. I got my motion blur from Ryan. It's actually free to download, so make sure to go to his page, find the video about motion blur, and yeah, you can find the link there where you can download motion blur. Uh, so just a note, so motion blur, Final Cut Pro doesn't like motion blur so much. It really slows down the computer. So when you add motion blur, you just drag and drop it on top. I like to use extreme motion blur, but as you can see, 
you'll notice um, the computer is going to slow down a little bit so make sure when you use motion blur to let it render before you do anything else because you don't want your computer crashing i mean uh, your file cut pro crashing on you so yeah drag and drop it on top of the part where your speed bumps are and align it and just let it load okay so it's done rendering i can just copy and paste this command c Command V to paste and drag it to the end of speed ramp. Same thing here. Command V, drag it to the end of the speed ramp. So we're gonna wait for that to render. Um, okay, so let's take a look uh, at the final result here. So yeah, there you go. So motion blur just adds just enough blur to your shot, to your speed ramps to make it look a lot smoother. So instead of that, you'll get that. So yeah, that's pretty much it about speed ramping and motion blur. It's a lot of trial and error and motion blur just add that nice touch to your, to your speed ramps. You can also use motion blur to do time lapses. And actually I'm going to show you another thing, a nice transition using speed ramps. So at the end of this clip, we ended under the shade right here and have another shot that started on the floor right here get that drag and drop again automatic speed it will slow down to 40 percent so this will be the start of the next clip we're going to speed this up of course so drag it all the way to where you want it to end this is going to be quite a long clip so yeah shift b so since this is quite a long clip to speed up, we're first going to start off with, let's try 20x, see how that looks. Okay, that's too fast. So here you go. You can click here and just drag it along. Keep dragging until you feel like it's just the right speed. Okay, I kind of like that. Okay, so we have that, we have this. So what you can do is just drag and extend the motion blur here. And again, let that render before you play it back. Okay, so once that's finished rendering, let's see how it looks. And there you go. Using speed ramp as a transition between two shots. It's very effective. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you find it useful. Um, so yeah, you can go ahead, go onto Ryan's page, download Motion Blur, add it to your Final Cut Pro and start using it on your next video. If you have any other questions, leave a comment below and please make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram as well. I'm very active there. And yeah, I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.